Friday night firing of the head of Ukraine's Air Force, Mikola Oleschuk, comes the day after news broke of an F-16 pilot crashing. Moments after posting the dismissal, President Zelensky in his evening address said his country's military needs to be strengthened at the command level. Questions are swirling here tonight about what caused the loss of one of the precious few F-16s this country has and one of the precious few pilots who can fly them. One of the few, the first, F-16 pilots to take to the skies over Ukraine died when his jet went down Monday. Ukraine's Air Force identifying him as Colonel Alexei Mace, call sign Moonfish. A source confirming to Scripps News that he was the pilot shown in this video released in February while in an abbreviated training program in Denmark. Duration of the training that we are uh, going through is really short. The typical training for F-16 pilots, three years. Moonfish fiercely advocated for the U.S. to allow Ukraine to receive F-16s, making a lobbying trip in 2022 to the U.S. Capitol along with his comrade Juice. Juice crashed and died during a training exercise almost exactly a year ago. The first F-16 crash is a major blow to Ukraine. The fighter jet, a potent symbol of hope. The arrival of the first handful of them announced with fanfare earlier this month. Their first combat mission on Monday, a mix of triumph, shooting down several Russian missiles, and tragedy. The Air Force said today that U.S. experts are on the ground here helping in the investigation. Ukraine's Minister of Defense, he's in Washington to meet with U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin to make the case that Ukraine has targets in Russia. It's ready to hit with American and British missiles that they've been provided but been barred from using on the deep strikes inside Russia that Zelensky argues are needed to change the course of this war. Jason Bellini, Scripps News, Kyiv, Ukraine.